It's not financial advice, it's not legal advice, for entertainment, education purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, like YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos, I'll put them out. See, I'm thinking I'm saying my lives that data, but like I tell y'all every day, the data they release us is false, but it gives us a false narrative the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, if you follow my tweets, I did a tweet earlier, and um, the SEC is going to hire more investigators to investigate crypto. Now, and in my tweet, I was like, they always find resources to go after who they want to go after. But the entities that are stealing billions, I mean billions would it be, billions of dollars from retail investors, from pension funds, they never have the resources to go after these guys. But here's the other caveat. We know that there's been a lot of evidence, and this is my opinion, based on everything I've read, based on the DD they say we don't do, there's a lot of evidence linking the SEC, Gary Gensler, and, and, and a few other SEC officials directly to Sam Bankman-Fried and the FTX Ponzi scheme. So I'm wondering why, after it looks like they were deeply in bed with Sam Bankman-Fried when he was trying to monopolize the crypto market, now that he's locked up, now that he's facing charges, now that all his co-defendants have pled guilty and are working with the government, now all of a sudden, the SEC wants to hire more investigators to go after crypto? Are they trying to distance themselves from Sam Bankman free? Are they trying to make it look like, like they weren't involved with the FTX debacle that stole billions of dollars from retail investors and pension funds? I just think it's a little odd that right after Sam Bankman free is arrested, right after all this evidence that came out linking the SEC, the general counsel, the Sam Bankman Fried's attorney is, is the husband of 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 a SEC enforcement attorney. I mean, the connection is just too overwhelming for it to be a coincidence. And now all of a sudden, resources they say they don't have, they say they can't buy coffee. They say there's no money to go after the bad actors stealing billions of dollars from retail investors and pension fund, but somehow. They find money to hire new investigators to go after crypto. It's a little suspicious to me, but time will tell. Time will tell because eventually everything comes to the surface. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's a little odd that after SEC has been linked to Sam Bankman Free, they're finding resources now to hire investigators to go after the other crypto the, the, the other crypto players? The other crypto players, but they never have money to go after the guys robbing retail investors and pension funds. Hey, we have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.